Hello everyone, welcome back again to this session. So in this session, we're trying to build our particular app. So this is the app that we build. We're trying to build it as, as an executable file, as an ESC file. We like that this here is a .py file. We want to make it as an ESC file, right, for Windows. So let's see how to do that. So I'll close this one. And then what we need is that we need this particular package called SciFreeze, right? CZ freeze, right? So pip install CZ freeze in case you don't have it. And just to create, we're going to create a file inside our folder, the same location that you have. So this is our file itself, right? It's all our stuff there. We're going to create another file within the same location. Very, very important. So let's do that here. Save as the same location as the as this program or the script that you're running. Then name the setup dot pi. Very important. Okay, so here we go. This here is we're going to so it is here that we're going to do all the instructions to build our particular app. So we're just going to import our scenes, the CS trees. Right? So that is the first step we need. Then we need to import sys. We need to import OS. Then we need to import OS dot parts. Right? Because we want to do some things with our parts. Right? Then the next thing we need is our dependencies that we need to be using. So we're just going to be importing them. So dependencies, so we're just going to go import some in some case you can do it, you can just ignore it. Import array. See what I spell it. Dependencies. Okay, so that is how to do that, right? And the next thing is that we're going to set it as the base, right? So let's call it as base to do now. Right. So we are going to tell you that if our system, that's what we put in sys, sys dot platform. Is equal to Windows. If it's equal to Windows and it's Windows range 32, then use this particular build, right? Use the base as when 32 GUI, right? When 32 GUI. That is the simplest stuff. Okay. So we are done with this. Now, the next thing we need to do is that we have to be able to import some DDL packages to help us to put this, otherwise, we'll be having some. Arrows. So we're just going to be putting these ones. So this is going to automatically detect the Python, the part for your Python file, then the TCL library and the TK library, which is from this place, right? Very, very important. So that's why we put the OS of the part and the OS. Okay. So now we are done with it. So the next step we need to do is that we need to set the, our executables. So executables. Our executable variable is going to take our C, so let's take some stuff, right? So let's put it inside here as C and the CS freeze goes with our executable function. Executable, not executable. Then here we're going to pass in our particular stuff. So the name of the particular file. So the name of this file, right? The one that we are running. So the same name. So email, that is the main file there where everything is hooked to. Structor is dot path. Very important. That's what is going to be executed. That's what you are run. Okay, so we are done with it. So the next thing we have to do is we'll go with the C Z freeze dot setup. So with the dot setup is where we're going to do all the setup. Perfect, right? So what we need for the setup is that we need a name. It's going to be the name that you're using for the app. So let's call this email structure X. Right. And then the next thing we need is that we can set the version, we can set all of this, but let's first of all set our version. Let's go to the version. going to be the 0 0.01. So these are just something basic, right? So the next thing we need is that we need to be able to move on to our executable. So it's going to be our executables top here. Right, the one we created. So finally, the most important thing here is that we need to be able to set our options. So it's going to be options. Then this option is going to take in some format. We're going to take our build. That ESC is some interesting stuff. So I'll copy it and paste it. So we're going to take our build.esc. Then inside our build.esc, we're going to take our packages. Right. So this packages is going to be the particular package that this is dependent upon. So all the packages that it is dependent upon is going to be within this particular option. Right. So we'll be using Tkinta. And then we'll be using array. And so every packet that you is dependent upon, that's why we want to use place it here. So we are done with our packages. 
So the next thing we need to do still within our build is that we need to be able to set our next aspect. Let's put our include files into the include. Files. So with the include files, we're going to include all the files that we need to run this our particular stuff. Alright, so that is how it's going to be. So, okay, so we have our include files. So we have this OS part of joint, which is referring to this particular stuff with our DLL and to specify your DLL and then our TCK, TCK for the. So it's going to be for our DLL shots. Right? Very interesting. Now we are done with it. So we have it here. Then we have one for here, right? Okay, so we are done with it. So let's save it. And then now to run it, I hope there's no errors. Let's go to the same location that we have our file. Here we have our setup.py. And don't go with Python. Setup.py. Build. Hope there's no errors. And so that is running, right? This is building for us. So we're going to create a build for that based on how fast the system is. Perfect, so just finish building, just place it in this particular location, right? So let's check it and see. So you see that you have our build folder, that our build folder, we have our ESC file, then inside here we have our particular file, right? Python. When I click on it, voila, so that just open perfect perfect. So thank you, and it's actually going to work, so let's try it and see whether it's going to work. Let's try it and see whether it's going to work. So I'll copy some of my list here, just this ones here. Copy it and then let's paste it here. See what it's working, right? I'll paste it here. Then let's go with email. Voila, that's going to get all the emails. Then that's actually working. So, thank you for watching this tutorial. In case you have any question or contribution, and let's put the comment section. So, the main idea is that you have to just import CCS freeze, that's what you're going to be using. Then you set this particular part, which is very important. Otherwise, you may have issues. In case, in case you have having issues, just use this option. And then you include it here, then you build it. So thank you and stay blessed.